the quack social media pipeline for experts online. While recently watching a medfluencer do an ad for a detox meal kit, after the initial feeling of, wow, that's horrifying, I couldn't help but think, science communicators who actually care about accuracy could make so much more money if we just didn't care. There lies the problem. Misinformation is profitable, truthfulness and moral scruples isn't. Something I've noticed in the science and medfluencer space is a quack pipeline effect. Even folks who start out as good information sources get pulled off course. Because attention is money and brands, they prefer influencers with higher engagement when choosing their partners. But what gets engagement online? Simple, sensational, emotionally charged content, which is more likely to contribute to misinformation. So you end up with this vicious cycle. Experts start off sharing good information, then when they get bad reach, they pivot to what works in the algorithms and end up in the quack pipeline, becoming sources of the misinformation they initially checked online to address, propped up inadvertently in many cases by the industries they operate in, even from brands who purportedly care about science, maybe an unpopular opinion. I think they care more about the appearance that they care and the hail effect these influencers will give them, because otherwise they would probably do a better job vetting who they fund. Meanwhile, the folks trying to stay accurate, they're swimming upstream because the incentives, time, money, and visibility are stacked against them. This isn't just about bad actors. It's about a system that rewards misinformation over truthfulness. 